Hi everyone, my name is Makumba Gerard of Edima. In this video, we are going to look at the minimum and maximum values of a function. But before we continue, if you are new here at Edimath, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell such that you can be notified of the new videos that we make and upload every day. So let us get started and see you there. From our previous video, we saw that if we have x being the exact value corrected to any number of decimal places, then we saw that the maximum value is equal to the exact value which is x plus the tolerance and minimum value is equal to x minus the toll where the toll is equal to a half times 10 power negative n right so i'm going to give an example briefly then we switch on to getting the maximum and the minimum values of a function which is linked by addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's have this example first. A recap. If x is equal to 10.523, find the maximum and the minimum values. So uh, this here is our exact value. So we need to get the toll. Tolerance is equal to a half times 10 power negative n n standing in for number of decimal places right so here we have three decimal places so this is going to be power negative three so our tolerance is now equal to 0 0.0005 now we need to get the maximum value so maximum value here becomes is equal to 10.523 plus the tolerance error which is 0 0.0005 so this gives us 10.5235 so this here is our maximum value so we are going to get next the minimum value minimum value is going to be the exact value which is 10.523 minus the toll which is 0 0.005 so when you subtract here we are going to get 10 0.5225 so this here is the maximum and this here is the minimum value but remember we also looked at something in the previous video about the limits or the range of urgency so we can be able to get here the limits of urgency so range are now going to be equal to these brackets are having corners so it's going to be the max the minimum value comma maximum value so minimum value is 10.5225 comma the maximum value which is 10.5235 so this here limits of address for a value which is 10.523 how about if it wasn't a single value like 10.523 but rather a combination of values combined by operations which are multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. How would we navigate with getting the limits and thereby getting the error? So that's the next thing which you are going to, to do. So for any function, maximum absolute error, this here is equal to maximum value minus minimum value everything divided by a 2 right now if it is a function how do we get the maximum and the minimum so that's the next thing which we are going to look at maximum and minimum values in addition comma subtraction multiplication and division let capital a and capital b to be values with the errors e a and e b in magnitude so we are going to use on to use that to determine the error in addition error in multiplication error in subtraction error in division so let us uh, summarize them and we are going to start with addition so under here we are going to look at two things maximum minimum maximum and minimum so let's start with the maximum of a 
plus b. So if we are to get the maximum value of a plus b, we are going to maximize a and we shall also maximize b such that we shall have a max plus b max. Remember maximizing a means you are going to get a plus its absolute error. So we have a plus b plus its error a b right here. So this gives us uh, the maximum value for a plus b. Then we need to find the minimum value. This is going to be a mean. We need the minimum value in addition in a plus b. We shall have a minimum and b minimum, right? b mean. So how do we get a mean? We shall have to get a minus the error in a plus b minus the error in b. Secondly, we are going to subtraction. Subtraction. So we are going to find the maximum value here in a minus b. So how do we get the maximum value of a minus b? That's if we maximize a and we minimize b. So you have a max minus b mean. That gives us the maximum value of a and. So let's get now the minimum value in a minus b. How can we get it minimum? a minus b is minimum if a is mean and we maximize b. Okay? So how can we make a minimum? This is the same as a minus the error in a minus we have b we are maximizing b plus the error in b. So here we have minimize the a minus b. Thirdly, we are going to look at multiplication. So if we are multiplying a and b, we need to get the maximum of a, b. This can only be got if a is max times b, which is also max, right? So here we are simply going to have a plus the magnitude of a times b maximum so this is going to be also need to get the minimum value here of a b this will be equal to if we need minimum value a should be minimum and b should also be minimum times b which is mean so this gives us a minus the error in a times b minus the error in b so this is the minimum value in a b fourthly we are going to look at the minimum and maximum values in division so maximum value in a all over b so you can only get maximum value in a over b if a is max and b is mean is small right so maximum value of a all over b is now equal to we say the a max, uh, a max maximizing a, this is going to be a plus the error in a divided by b mean. So we are going to minimize b, so b minus the error in b. Then we need to get the minimum value of a all over b. We can only get minimum value here in the division if the numerator is minimized and the denominator is maximized right so minimizing a we shall have a minus error in a divided by maximizing b so b plus the error in b so with this introduction we are right now to look at an example so our example is here given that m is here M is having values 4.05 plus 2.023 all over 5.67 minus 4.9312. Now the first part, they want us to write down the maximum possible error in each of the values. So we are going to write down the maximum possible error in this, maximum possible error in this value. Let's do that. So maximum possible error error in 4.05 this is equal to a half times 10 power how many decimal places here we have two 
so this is power negative 2 which gives us 0 0.005 maximum possible error in this in 2.0 to 3, this here is equal to half times 10 power negative. We are getting the tolerance and the tolerance is the one which they refer to as the maximum possible error. So this here is equal to uh, half times 10 power negative 3 which is 0 0.0005. Can I abbreviate and say E of 5.67 meaning the maximum possible error of course in the magnitude this here is equal to a half times 10 power negative there are two decimal places so it is the same as this 0 0.005 and in the last one there error maximum 4.9 Three one two. This is the same as a half times ten power. How many decimal places? These are four, and this here is zero point zero 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 five. So we are finally getting the maximum possible error in each value. Now, before we find the range, we need to find both the maximum and the minimum values of m. Right. Then after that, we can be able to find the range. So let's get started. So we have capital M, which is equal to 4.05 plus 2.023 divided by 5.67 minus 4.9312. We need to get the maximum value for this and the minimum value for that. But just a recap, a review. We are going to put into consideration this. If we need maximum value in addition, we shall have to maximize both values. If we need minimum value in addition, we minimize both values. Okay? Maximum value in the subtraction. This first value should be maximum and the second one should be minimized. Alright? So that's what we are going to apply right there. So first of all, you observe that this here is division. So to get M max, this is going to be, we are going to maximize the numerator and we minimize the denominator. Now let's zero down. How do we maximize this in addition? Alright, so let's do that. So we have 4.05 plus its tolerance, which is 0 0.005 plus we maximize this also this is going to be 2.023 plus the tolerance error so we are maximizing this value and maximizing this value to get the addition here the maximum so 0 0.0005 divided by we are going to minimize the numerator, the denominator, right? Minimizing the denominator means if this has to be minimum, then let me refer to something here. We are in addition. Minimum means the first value should be minimized and the second value should be maximized. That's what we are going to apply at this point here right so there we shall have 5.67 minimized meaning that we are going to subtract the possible error which is 0 0.005 again minus we have to maximize this second value here so we shall have 4.9312 maximized meaning we shall have to add it up possible error which is 0 0.0005 so when you compute on our calculators we shall get the maximum value as so this here is going to be to four decimal places 8.2842 for dps this here is the m max how about if we need to minimize the m m mean this is going to be we are going to minimize the, the numerator and maximize the denominator. 4.05 minimizing, we are going to subtract the error. Plus here, we, have, we are going to minimize this also, 2.023. 
minimized 0 0.0005 everything over we are going to maximize now in the denominator this is subtraction how do we deal with subtraction that is if this value here is maximum and this here is the minimum so we shall have this being 5.67 Plus, we are maximizing this 0 0.005 minus minimize this 4.9312 minus 0 0.0005. So, when we press on the calculator, we shall be getting 8.1569. So, this here is our mean value m mean, and this here is the m max let's see what the question demands us the question demands us to find the range within which m lies so having got the maximum and the minimum value so the range for m is simple range for m is now going to be equal to the maximum minimum value coming first so this is 8.1569 maximum value which is 8.2842 so this here is the range within which the accurate value of m lies all right so we are going to see what next here estimate the maximum percentage error all right this here is equal to the absolute error all over the exact value times 100 right so what is the absolute error so absolute error remember from this from here maximum absolute error is here maximum value minus minimum value divided by two this formula here is very important it's the one we have to use so we are going to have uh, the maximum value which is 8.2 842 minus minimum value which is 8.1569 divided by 2 so here we are going to get 0 0.0637 so this here is our absolute error now we need to get the exact value we just get our calculators and then we press m so m is going to be equal to when you press on the calculator we will get so m is going to be 8.2201 right so can we substitute to get the percentage error here so maximum percentage error is now going to be equal to absolute error which is 0 0.0637 divided by the exact value which is 8.2201 times 100 so this gives us 0.7749 percent so this is the maximum percentage error in m and this is where our question stops but before we end the session I have two numbers prepared for us to try out. So our first question is right here and the second one is that. And in each of these, you have to go ahead and get the, the maximum absolute error. Even here in the second part, hence, find the maximum absolute error. So I want to thank you very much for being with me up to this point and I thank you very much for being part of my audience. If you are new here at EduMath, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell and sharing with your friends this channel. So from EduMath, we wish you the best and God bless you.